My name is Casey Rondello. I am a disaster epidemiologist, a physician who specializes in the response to emerging infections and other widespread medical crises. I'm also a faculty member here at Adelphi University. As you are aware, the Ebola virus has presented an unprecedented medical condition, both here in the United States and abroad. Ebola is not a new virus, and while it is true that at this time there is no publicly available vaccine, we do possess key knowledge and clinical protocols vital to overcoming this outbreak. We know how the virus is spread. It is spread in only two ways, either by direct contact with the blood or body fluids of a person who is sick with Ebola, or contact with objects like needles and syringes that have been contaminated with the blood or body fluids of a person infected with Ebola. This knowledge is critical. An essential factor in controlling any epidemic is awareness of how the infectious agent passes from one person to another. Ebola is not transmitted through food, through water, or through the air. It is only transmitted when an Ebola patient's blood or body fluids enter a healthy person's body through broken skin or unprotected mucous membranes. As a result, unless you are a caregiver charged with the medical care of a known Ebola patient, your risk of exposure is exceedingly low. The best way to protect yourself and your loved ones is by educating yourself using valid resources, such as those available through the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or the World Health Organization. Being well informed will not only ease your anxiety and fear, but it will empower you to take action in educating others.